Star Blanket up. And the same question goes for all finalists. What advice would you give to your community and younger generation as a native educated woman? Good evening, everyone. I'd like to give thanks to the creator for this beautiful day. Um, please forgive me for all my older people that are here and I'm speaking in front of you. Um, back home, I have always been taught to um, live in balance. And that's my advice I would give to all younger generations, all my people back home. Uh, you have to respect yourself first. Respect yourself in the four ways. You have to respect yourself physically as a person. You have to keep yourself healthy. Um, you have to eat right. You have to give your body the exercise that it needs. You have to balance yourself mentally. You have to challenge yourself by going to school and getting an education. You got to challenge yourself by thinking outside the box, thinking critically. As um, young people, when we went, when I was going to school, I was taught that the only way we learn is by a textbook. But that's not the case. For our First Nations people, we have always been taught to. Um, we our our learning comes from oral tradition. Our learning comes from the land. Our learning comes from our people. So I always encourage you to balance yourself and keep your mind open. Um, balance yourself spiritually by praying to the Creator, praying to whoever you need to to keep your body and your spirit healthy. And finally, take care of yourself emotionally. Whichever way that you do that, whether it's by journaling or whether it's by talking and letting your emotions out, remember that emotions are part of human beings. We are human. We are allowed to feel these types of things. My, what I want the young people to know and understand is that we have to learn from ourselves first in order to be open to learn to everything around us. When I went to school, I was always scared to leave the reserve, and I was always scared to experience new things, but that's where learning comes from. Do not be afraid to make mistakes because that's where we learn. We learn with our heart. We learn with an open mind. So again, for all the young people, my advice to you is don't be scared to go out into this world and experience these new things. We're here to experience. We're here to love. We're here to keep our mind, our body, our spirit, our emotions in balance. So please remember to do that. <coughs> I'd like to thank you for all taking the time to listen to me. I'm an educator by trade, so I could talk forever for an hour if you need me to. <laughs> but again, thank you very much. Hi, hi. Hey, all right. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Connie. Right. So as we get down to the final two, we can kind of put a time frame on them now. And I hate to say that because we let the other ones kind of go. But thank you. Thank you to uh, Dominique and, and Tung Shi and Connie. So we're going to try to keep it short, ladies. Now, Tiada, as I know, as an educated indigenous woman, how's that? As an educated indigenous woman, what advice would you give to your community and younger generations? Minute, two minutes, somewhere on there. All right. Hello, everybody. The advice I'd like to give is to remember that there's no right path. There's no uh, sequential way that you have to come about and go do, do things. You can go and live life first and experience things then go back to school. <laughs> but I told them to cut the cord when I start talking. <laughs> but um, just to remember, in no, no matter what you do, try your best. Remember that there are always others looking up to you, following your past. Like these ladies, I'm uh, dancing among some of the best women, the best and smartest, most intellectual women. I can go and talk to these women and get advice from them about, I'm currently in my graduate degree, and I know that I can go to some of these women, ask for advice, ask for study tips, you know, ask for, um, you know, uh, same thing, making relations. And, you know, just keep going, educate yourself, be mindful, respect for others, and always pay attention. So thank you. Thank you, Tiara. And our final contestant here, Leah, same question goes to you. As an educated indigenous woman, what advice would you give to your community and younger generations? Dance. My name is Leah Keomieso, and I am from um, the Samson Cree Nation in Muscatees, Alberta, Canada. Uh, I am an educator. I've been teaching for nine years. Nine years. 
My advice to the youth is to continue with your education, your, edu your education, and to um, listen to your elders. Also, check one two. Hello. Okay, to listen to your elders and to um, the older people. I encourage you to um, learn about your culture, get to know who you are, get to know your history, your background, because that's going to help um, build a foundation for you, and so that's something that you can grow upon. Uh, advice to my community is, um, because I work with youth, I always encourage people to get involved with our youth. Um, everybody has a story, everybody has experience that you can share with them, and our youth are always willing to learn. They want to learn, they, they crave for that. And so I just encourage that, um, well, for my community to become more involved with the youth. So thank you, hi, hi.